AI technology has the power to create images based on your text. It's getting better and more convenient each day. A popular tool in the business world is Midjourney, but is it the best option? I've discovered an entirely even better alternative, a completely free one. Meet Imagine Art, an AI that revolutionizes image creation which changes the rules of the game and allows absolutely anyone to generate an unlimited number of images absolutely free on the Imagine Art website. You can find the link in the video description to explore its capabilities. Let's delve into how it works. On the dashboard in the upper right corner, click go to dashboard. This is where the image generation process happens. Below you'll input your prompt. If you're new to this, just type words separated by commas that describe the image you want. Click generate. If you don't have an account, the window will appear for you to log in. Click sign up and choose any convenient way for you to authorize. This is how the website looks like and you can navigate to the image generation window. On this window, write your prompt. On the right panel, you'll find tools for detailed image settings. In the aspect ratio tab, choose the image resolution. In the art styles tab, select from a variety of styles like realistic, anime and fantasy. You can even enable higher resolution, although this might require an update. In the negative prompt tab, write down what you don't want in the image that you generate. There's a feature called CFG scale that adjusts how closely the final image matches your prompt. Lower values give more room for AI creativity and also if any of the functions are unclear to you or you have not remembered, you'll find explanations next to each tool. So take time to read them. In this case, the note item explains that high value can affect the deterioration of the image quality. The step scale tool enhances image quality by increasing its value. This might extend the image generation time. The seed tool introduces new variations to your output image. So we have covered the basic features of Imagine Art. Now let's try generating something. Using the ChatGPT training technique for writing prompts, I wrote a prompt to create a fantasy character and choose the Imagine V4 style from the Art Styles tab. In the Aspect Ratio tab, I choose the resolution I need and leave all the other settings in default. Then click Generate. You will receive fantastic results in seconds. Clicking on the image provides more information about the prompt and settings. You can also improve image quality by clicking Upscale. This gives you a better quality in just a few seconds. To download the image, head to the bottom right of the screen. You have options to download or delete. Your created images are stored in the collection tab in the upper left corner and will stay there until you delete them. Also, I would like to mention that Imagine Art is relatively new and will introduce more features soon. In the upper panel, you can see several interesting features which is text to image. This is the tab where we are right now and in which we are generating images. We also have image remixes in this tab that you can upload your image and create a similar one using Imagine Art. Let's say if we leave here, on the main page of Imagine Art, you can see several very new upcoming features and tools that may help us in the future. You can download Imagine Art on iOS and Android and explore various upcoming features and tools. On social networks, Imagine Art publishes a lot of different useful information, works done by other users and much more. All the links can be found in the description of this video. Remember, Imagine Art is a free tool, but a subscription gives you rights to generated images. At the same time, you get the opportunity to generate an absolutely unlimited number of images. The subscription costs you $7 per week or $70 per year. This offers unlimited image generation unlike Midjourney. Give Imagine Art a try, you'll find the link in the video description. If you find it useful, share your thoughts in the comments and consider subscribing to the channel for more useful content. See you in the next video.